everybody just calm down. Yo! <laughs> What's going on, my little friends? I'm Mr. Billy, librarian, creator of Three King Visions. Are you ready for story time? Yay! Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the best kids show on YouTube. Hold up, hold, hold up, everybody. Has anyone seen Busy to Be? Busy. Busy. Has anyone seen Busy to Be? Whoa, there goes my best friend, Busy to Be. Everyone say, hello, Busy. What's going on, everybody? I'm so excited for story time. Whoa, our first song of the day is Whoop My Little Hands. Hey, my little one, hold your hands up just like this. Here we go. With my little hands, I go clap, clap, clap. With my little feet, I go tap, tap, tap. With my little arms, I wave bye, bye, bye. With my little legs, I kick ha, ha, ha. With my little eyes, I go peekaboo. With my little mouth, I go I love you. Yeah! Oh, man, I'm so excited. Our story of the day is Perfectly Pegasus, written by Jesse Seema. Hey, Busy, what do you think about this story, man? Oh, man, Mr. Billy, I'm so excited to read this book, Perfectly Pegasus. Wow. Whoa. Look at my best friend, Busy to be. We can't wait to read this story. Man, I'm so excited. Let's dive on in. Let's get it. I'm so excited. Nimbus was born high in the sky. Born high in the sky. Oh, look at Nimbus right there. That's a pretty good, that's a pretty good looking fella right there. All right, let's see what happens next. It was clear from the start she was one of a kind. She had what? Feather wings, and she had a way with clouds. And she had the whole sky to herself. Usually, that sky felt full of adventure. Wow. Look at that sky. Look at that pretty rainbow. That is so cool. But sometimes it felt empty. Oh no, it just felt empty. Look at that cloud in the rain. I'll make it rain, I'll clear it out. I'll make it rain, I'll clear it out. Whenever the sky started to feel too empty, Nimbus traced pictures into the stars and dreamed of having someone to keep her company. Wow, look at those cool constellations right there. I like that, pretty cool. It was on one of those nights that a perfect wishing star shot across the sky. Whoa, look at that star. Look at all those colors. I see green, I see yellow, I see like a reddish color. Whoa. But it felt so quickly that Nimbus didn't have time to make her wish. I wish I had someone far off. In the distance, she could make out the faint warm glow of the star where it landed. Oh. I wonder where that star landed. Let's find out, my little ones. Let's see where the star landed. Nimbus flew around the light as fast as she could, which was very fast indeed, hoping she could locate the fallen star and finish her wish. I like that. When she reached the ground, the sun was already high in the sky. It was too bright to see the stars shine. Nimbus would just have to find a star without it. 
Shit. That didn't sound so hard. No, no, no. It doesn't sound that hard at all. Let's see what happens next, my little ones. Ah! Wow! It was aha! Instead, she came face to face with a mysterious sparkling creature. Whoa! Look at that creature. I wonder what that creature is. Let's find out what that creature is. Name Kelp! Everyone say, hi, Kelp! Kelp was impressed by Nimbus' wide, feathered wings. Nimbus was amazed by Kelp's glittery horn. Oh, that is pretty cool right there. Let's see what happens next. So amazed that she nearly forgot why she came to the island. But did she remember the empty sky and the wish she wanted? To make. Nimbus told Kelp all about her search for the falling star. To her surprise, she wanted help. She wanted to find the falling star, my little ones. Let's see what happens next. Nimbus looked high. Kelp. Look low, and together they explored most of the island. I like teamwork. Teamwork is so good. Oh man, let's see. But they did not find the star. Kelp had one last idea. We can ask my friends. Friends. How many people have them? Friends. All right. Whoa! Nimbus had never heard of friends before. They were all very pointy and eager to help. Wow. Look at all those cool friends right there. Wow. It's so important to have friends. They search here. They search there, they searched everywhere. Whoa, they searched everywhere. But they did not find a star. Nimbus was having fun on land, but she felt discouraged. If she couldn't find the star, she would have to wait for another fall before making her wish. So Nimbus thanked Kelp and his pony friends for all their help and returned to the sky. We'll miss you! Oh man, they're gonna miss her. They're gonna miss her. Nimbus flew around the clouds a little more slowly. Um, honey, I'm so hey! Which was still pretty fast indeed. <laughs> Resigning herself to watch over the sky. When she got there, the clouds were just as she left them. But Nimbus felt different. Felt different. Let's see what happens next, my little ones. Now that she had met everyone on the land, her constellations were a little less of a consolation. Will she ever see another falling star? Will she ever get a chance to wish for friends? Nimbus wasn't sure. She wasn't sure, my little ones. She wasn't sure. And guess what? But then she realized that maybe... Uh-oh. That maybe what? Let's see. Just maybe... Just maybe... Uh-oh. Let's see what happens next. 
her wish had already come true. Whoa. The end. Yay! Wow. That was an amazing story. Hey, Busy, what did you think about that story, man? Oh, man, Mr. Billy, I love that story. It's so important to have friends. Mr. Billy, are you my friend? You are definitely my friend, Busy. You're my best friend. Good job, Busy to be. If you want to check out that book, please go visit your local library. Get your library card. It's National Library Card Sign Up Month. It is the key to your success. Well, hold up, hold up, everybody. Guess what it's time for? It's time. It's time for the Bumblebee song. My little ones, hold your hands together like this. Follow Mr. Billy. I'm bringing home my baby Bumblebee. Won't my mommy be so proud of me? I'm bringing home my baby Bumblebee. Oh, it stung me. What we gonna do next, y'all? We gonna squish the Bumblebee. I'm squishing up my baby Bumblebee. Won't my mommy be so proud of me? I'm squishing up my baby Bumblebee. Oh, it's sticky. What we gonna do next, y'all? We gonna lick the Bumblebee off our hands. I'm licking off my baby Bumblebee. Won't my mommy be so proud of me? I'm licking off my baby Bumblebee. Oh, it's yucky. What we gonna do next, y'all? We gonna wipe the Bumblebee off our hands. I'm wiping off my baby Bumblebee. Now my mommy be so proud of me. I'm wiping off my baby Bumblebee. Look, no more Bumblebee, yay! Thank you for coming to Storytime Adventures with Mr. Billy and my best friend, Busy the Bee. We appreciate everyone's support. Please subscribe to Three King Visions. We're trying to get on YouTube, kids. We appreciate everybody's support. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter as well. And we just really love inspiring kids to develop the lifelong love of reading. Hey, Busy, send them out with some kind words. Just remember, y'all, it's all about the kids. And goodbye.